I usually go to this session with one question, a very easy one. But at the same time, it is the most difficult question that anyone could ask himself. The question is, who are you? And you know, I do this over and over in many sessions with youth. As soon as I finish the session, they jump on me with their CVs and biography, telling me the great story about their names, ages, their social life, their background, skills, languages. But this was not my question. I didn't ask you about your objectives. I didn't ask you about your goals. I ask you about the central core which incentivizes you and motivates you to achieve such achievements. I think the problem that we try to identify ourselves through our achievements, not the other way around. I think we should define our achievements through us, but not knowing the central core of ourselves makes this job really difficult. So when I go back again and I ask the group that I, that I monitored, tell me now who are you? I get answers which is really ambiguous and very confusing. I tell them to try to extract themselves from all the external outcomes of the central core. Try to extract yourself from your objectives, your goals, your achievements. Try to extract yourself from your social background. Try to extract yourself from your academic background. For a moment, they think that they fail to identify the central core of themselves. But actually, they recognize and realize the truth because the question was about the truth, not the facts. They tell me, Dr. Hamad, uh, we can't specify or associate ourselves with a certain place. We can't specify a moment or capture ourselves in a, a specific moment. And this is exactly the central core of yourself, a core which is limitless, a core that could not be limited or could not be contained with a space, a core that could not be captured with a single moment. It is beyond the space, beyond moment. So what happened? Why we are so limited? Why we can't unlimit ourselves? Why we can't unleash our power? Why our central core is so weak? I think there are three main reasons. The first reason, that people tend to judge on things on tangible matters and objects. This is what happened with Einstein when he passed away. Einstein, when he died, they tried to dissect his brain to see how different his brain structure from ours. Because we, we tend to judge on things on matters. We tend to judge on things on tangible issues. We don't try to go beyond matters. We don't try to read beyond text. The second issue, that we were, not, we were told since we were born that don't ask such questions. And I think we were prohibited from asking questions, not because they are stupid questions, as much as they are questions where nobody tried to answer, nobody tried to think and to contemplate. So when I go back to my youth in those sessions after trying to contemplate about the central core of ourselves, their biography or CV changed. So instead of asking, what my name is, they start to ask what my name means. And instead of asking how old I am, they start to ask how old my legacy will live after I leave. And instead of asking what my job title is, they start to ask what my purpose is. And then they shift from being another success story to the story, to a story like Gandhi and Einstein. They don't realize that at that stage, they became what I called mini creator. No restrictions, no obstacles, no limit, no place, no time. They can do miracles. I try to implement this theory when I read Quran. So I had a session with people who recite Quran and they know it inside out. And you know people, because we are materialistic, we know all the tangible questions. We have answer for all the tangible questions. So I told them how many pages we have in Quran, I had a figure. I told them how many verses we have in Quran, I had a figure. So I tried to read beyond the text. And my question was, what is the most common word in Quran? And it was God for those who believe in God, or unlimited power for those who don't believe in God. 
So my second question was, what is the second most word which is common in Quran? It was educate, learn, seek, search, explore, 700 times. 700 times it was mentioned after the creator of the universe. But why don't we get the message? What is wrong with us? Coming from this discussion, I would like to conclude by saying a few things. Please be a biography that I will buy to read, not a biography that I will read to buy your work time as a staff. Please be one of those ones who, who wins. Be the one who wins. Don't be one which is very similar to everyone else. Ask the stupid questions. Dare to ask. Dare to make a difference. Thank you so much for your time. Thank <laughs> you.